Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, Tumen's got the stream turned off. Um, luckily, it doesn't matter really if you know the deck. If he looks at my ice, it'll matter, uh, and I can't keep this hand. Better hand. This is much better, I guess. Can I score this mandatory upgrades? I really, really want to try. Where should this Grim go? Probably R&D, I guess. Maybe HQ is better? No, because I need to stop HQ because I've got two agendas here already. So let's do it like this. We fill hand to five. Not bad, not bad. There's Enigma, good to go along with the ice wall over here, or the, um... So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to try and score mandatory upgrades. This will be one for the books, if I can do it. I've got Paperwall Enigma, which is, I mean, like, a pretty reasonable server. And here he is. He's definitely watching the stream. Otherwise, how would he know that this is an Enigma that he can just get past and score a beta test? I mean, if I if he just does nothing but check the top of R&D... Do I, do I win off of just mandatory upgrading? <clears throat> That's like a good question. It's like, can I just win off of mandatory upgrades? If I score turn three mandatory upgrades, yeah, he says, oh shit. <laughs> Maybe I should have, uh, uh, yeah, I screwed up. I definitely should have shipped him from Sansa in that one. He's clicking to draw a card. He plays self modifying code. He runs. He gets in. I lose. Play self modifying code. Run again. I lose. Man, that was so bad. Uh, actually, now it's safe. I'll let him in. He doesn't have the self modifying code. So, I have, I have mandatory upgrades on the score. Assuming that he doesn't like... Yeah. Motivation. LOL. Alright, guys. We're in business. Whoop! This is gonna be fun. Do I get the click? I have never scored this card before, so I have no idea how, how it works. He says, yes. I do. Sweet. I'll take free money then. Woo! This is awesome, guys! I got a real, I got a real live mandatory upgrade. Bitches, what you gonna do about it? Mandatory upgrades? You're in. I don't care. Have all the virus counters you want. I have mandatory upgrades scored. Should I stop him on HQ? Probably. I have like... I have all these... Extra, I have I have, I have, have a whole... It's like I have a Gia hand scored and infinite biotic labors that are all free. It's awesome. Uh, should I replace this ice? Sure. I mean, I have tons of it. Ice, I mean. So I'll get an Eli going and I'll take three credits. So, he's looking at the top cards. Eureka, Eureka is going to happen. Yes, it is. What are we, what are we Eurekin? What are we Eurekin? It's the toolbox. He's toolboxing. Uh, yeah, Eli, end the run. I want to put more Elis. Uh, 
Um, I'm actually just gonna install Vitruvius here, I think, and take three credits just so I don't have to discard, I guess. This might be, this might be folly. This might be a bad move, but I don't think he's gonna be able to install two relevant icebreakers. I mean, he could be playing Atman, I guess. And if he did, like, Atman on one run, I'd be in trouble. Well, he's test running. He can't test run. There's nothing that breaks both, right? Morningstar. Okay. He's going to scavenge it. Uh, no, but I can do this. So now he basically has to scavenge it, or it's a waste. He's not scavenging it. So, but he's in R&D. Alright. And he's significantly less money. Oh, successful demo! All the monies. This is funny that I score mandatory upgrades and all that I do with it is just take extra credit. I should have probably... I should have probably ad advanced Vitruvius once, maybe, because he's probably not getting in. Then I get to return successful demonstration the next time I surprise him. Uh, so next turn, I think I'm going to... Well, I can actually just over-advance it next turn, because I have extra credits. Extra credit... I mean extra clicks. What is he same holding? Eureka from... <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> And he's got a morning star. Okay. Acknowledge successful run. I'm getting pretty lucky with those. So I think I'm actually just gonna install Grim and not worry about um over advancing. Now that I have uh Maybe that was bad. Probably should have been Roto Turret, I guess. Grim makes it, like a little bit less sense. I mean, I could just install both. Then maybe he'll fem the wrong one. <laughs> Efficiency committee. Adorable. Alright, so I'll do that. And take three credits. I wanna take a I wanna take a seven click turn this game. I guess I've done it before maybe. But probably not. I don't think he's I mean like I guess he could just like install Gordian Blade. No, he would need, like, some tricks. He's at one, so. He would need to, yeah, he doesn't even have enough to test run it. I'm, I should be fine. I had a beta test, that'll win next turn. I'll discard this Viper, I guess. No, I'll discard Eli, he's got Morningstar in play card is not going to be very good. Uh, did I? Uh, I should be at one last, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Assuming I had three clicks, yeah. Not used to this luxury of extra clicks as the corp. Four clicks. Look at me. Look at me go. This is the fa this is my favorite game of Netrunner that I've ever played. And next turn I just win. He's gotten like somewhat unlucky with the um, with the R and D runs. Uh, yep. You're in. You can have it. Okay, now, there just needs to be 
not that many more. Like, I just, he just needs to not, like, run twice more and have each one be an agenda, and I got it. Well, he's, he's playing the odds. Let's see what he can do. Second card, no agenda. You're out. I win. <laughs> This is this is pretty amazing. I sort of jammed one of these in. I was like, well, I could play two profiteering or two gear hands, and then I'd have like more agendas, and there'd be one more in my deck, but I'd have like more three advanced three advanced agendas, which would make it easier to fast advance. After I scored efficiency committee, I wouldn't like run into this mandatory upgrades, which I assumed was like never gonna get there. But boy, did it ever! I'm gonna run that beta desk. <laughs> I 